Hey guys, John from SurfFX, and today we're looking at the Takuma Kajira foils. Now, these foils are pretty unique looking, and I'll go into that in a second, but here's how they come. So you've got choices between an alloy uh, fuselage and mast and a carbon fuselage mast. Uh, length 75 or 85, pretty standard. Pretty stiff, the alloy is quite stiff and quite secure. You can see there's a bolt on the top, three on the top, three to the top, three through the bottom of the fuselage, and the carbon setup is more of the one-piece setup. You can have a look at that. So when you have a look at how these arrive, they come as a bag like this, open it up, and then you've got, there's your front wing. So that there's your 980, that's kind of your go-to prone size as well as for towing in, in in smaller waves. Now you can see straight away that it's bumpy along the front. So what that is, those are biologic terms and also engineering tubercles. So they are, they mimic a lot, a lot of animals and what they do is, you know, picture a humpback whale, the big flukes or flippers of a humpback whale have these along, bumps along the front edge and you get a massive animal that's able to do quick accelerated loops and spins underwater mostly to you know, catch their bait fish and their, and their plankton. Now applied to this, uh, pretty cool setup. So there's been a few tests done, there's a couple engineers in the US, um, a guy named Watts and another guy named Fish particular paper they did applying this technology to aerospace and aeronautics um, and what they found was that adding these to the leading edge of an aerofoil you can decrease the uh, drag by nearly 40 percent actually it was 40 percent in the paper um, and then increases the lift by 4.8 percent so around that the five five percent more lift 40 percent drop in drag that means you get a lot more speed um, you know that's through air, so water is obviously more drag again. Pretty cool setup. Now, a lot of that drop in drag is actually reducing the drag through the wingtip area, so um, pretty cool setup. And now, on top of that, they found that it uh, produced maximum lift at a lower speed and also had a higher speed before it stalled. So, you know, an airplane wing will stall eventually, but it didn't stall in a quick drop like a normal airfoil does, it's a more, it's a gradual drop off to the stall point. So pretty cool when you apply that to this foil setup, that means you have more control, less drag, more outright speed. So all win-win for what we do. So they've got that technology applied to the leaning edge of their wings, on their front wings, and then also in the rears. The rears have it probably a bit more pronounced as far as overall area goes of the wing uh, in a little bit larger, more pronounced bumps Due to this, you know, versus the size on the rear. So, pretty cool to see this coming through. So, you know, I mean, humpback whales, you also see it on the heads of hammerhead sharks. Um, those are, you know, two water applications where nature's done that. And then in flight, uh, owls. And, you know, owls fly very quietly, very maneuverably, and they've got little bumps on the, on the front edge of their wings. Pretty cool. So, nice to see that application going into foils. And it really pays off because these foils are known to be very, very fast and quite maneuverable when they when you really slap them around. So you've got a great range of stuff for wing foiling, towing, prone. So it works quite well. 